welcome back to the Judgment Day press conference. Yes. Get in there. First of all, I'd like to thank Joshua and Matthew for their role in making this fight happen. And also to their coaches, Fergus Sullivan and Ben Kershaw. You are! You are! You are! You are! Whenever it was time to discuss a thought and opponent, Joshua Chuck, as he is the reigning undefeated champion, was always high on Matthew's list. And again, that is no surprise to us, as we've known for at least three months now that Matthew has wanted the Chuck fight badly. It was only a matter of time before we got the deal over the line. The deal has finally been completed. The fight is scheduled to go 12 one and a half minute rounds of high intensity, breathtaking and action packed boxing. This fight will live up to the extremely high expectations that all the fans have been wanting. First off, I would like to introduce the first contender, Matthew Fornan. You are so good. Yeah, you know, I'd just like to, uh, I'm, well, I'm just glad the fight's on, to be honest, you know, and, uh, I've got a lot of time for Josh Chuck, you know, and he's, well, he's fought one dummy, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I look at him, I, I seriously don't see what threat he's actually got to me, I don't, I don't see anything, like I just like to thank you a lot for the opportunity for that. Now for the second contender, Joshua Chuck. Oh, very bad, eh? First of all, I'd just like to thank God <laughs> for allowing me to go this long undefeated. And I want to thank my trainer, Fergus, for taking me under his wing. No worries, mate, any day. <laughs> he's, done, he's done bits for me in the training camp in our private facility. And I believe it's going to be a good fight. Thank you to the two contenders. And now, if the journalist in attendance would like to ask the contenders some questions. Thank you. <coughs> uh, yes, sir. Matty, uh, there's been uh, plenty of comparisons in the media this week of you and Ryan Higgins. What's your thoughts on this? <laughs> just like to say if Ryan Higgins sees this, I'll have you one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not asking about. I really don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, yes, sir. Josh Chuck, uh, I've heard there's been a, quite a few uh, unlegitimate fights for you and uh, Jacob Chuck, I think that's his name. And I've heard you've been knocked out every single time. <laughs> Would you like to uh, add anything on that? Jacob is a bigger opponent, and I do enjoy sparring with him from time to time. I've learned a lot. And I believe I'm a bigger, stronger person after fighting him. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, sir. This question is for Josh Chuck. Do you think your smoking will become a disadvantage in your fight against your opponent? I believe the smoking actually helps me in the fight. So it makes me uh, makes me faster, stronger, more agile in the ring. <coughs> Thank you. Hey, yes sir. If both of you could compare your fighting styles to any great all time boxer, who would it be? Well, to be honest, it's my first ever boxing match, so I'll have to see after this fight who I'm like. But I think I've got a lot of power. I'm a small lad, but I've packed power. He can't deal with my power. It's, it's simple. To be honest, I've only seen, I've seen him train. I compare him to a young Rocky Balboa. <laughs> he's, got, he's got all the attributes to make a great champ. He will, he will destroy Josh. I'd just like to say as well, thank you to my trainer, Ben Kershaw, for giving me his facility. So, uh, Joshua. Personally, I'd compare myself to Prince Nazim. <laughs> I, believe, I believe I'm fast, I'm agile, and I'm strong in the ring. And I've also got the confidence and the willpower to back it up. Yeah, but not passing driving test. Thank you for question. Uh, yes, sir. Matty, uh, how are you going to deal with Chuck's height above you? Well, yeah, obviously. Well, got quite a lot of height on me, but 
It's not about the size of the dog in the fight, it's about the size of the fight in the dog, and I will beat him, hands down, he's going to get sparked on. <laughs> In training, with, he's been sparring with an opponent that matches uh, Chuck's height, so he's, he's used to fighting p opponents with that height and he'll deal with it easily. Question uh, for Chuck. Arrogance is a big part of your personality, but how much of that do you think will influence the fight? I believe my uh, arrogance is vital, and I back you up in every fight. Did I back it up? You fought one person. Did back it up? I'm undefeated. I'm undefeated, so my arrogance, my arrogance is uh, key. How is it? It's a bit rich coming from someone who's got no experience in the ring. He slipped. He's gonna get slipped. Luke Bowman has been dropped by every person. <laughs> <laughs> I could drop him. <laughs> yeah. Even Sam Walters could take him on. <laughs> so could I? I think that it doesn't. Say anything about Chuck's ability in the ring. Fucking go on, then. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Chuck, do you, do you think a woman's I'm ability, uh, Matt's ability to not pleasure a woman, <laughs> affects his uh, prowess in the ring? Can you repeat the question, please? Do you think Matt's ability to not pleasure a woman is a key aspect in the ring? Yeah, I do. I'd say to pleasure a woman, you need to be a man. And only a man can beat me in the ring. <laughs> Can I just say that my is pleasure many <laughs> <laughs> Often for two to three minutes. <laughs> 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 so that, that statement is invalid. Thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Josh Chuck, I've heard you've picked up the flu recently. Has that affected your training camp and has it given Matthew a slight advantage in the fight? I don't believe it, is. it has. The fight's looked timely. And if anything, I believe it's made me stronger. <laughs> Get it in a piece. Uh, thank you. Uh, Yes, sir. Rumour has it. Matthew, you have a missing too. I'm not sure if that's true. Or not. <laughs> I'd just like to clear it up. Do you think this gives a disadvantage or advantage to you during the fight? Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, I've got a missing too. Uh, there's no hiding that. I've had it since about uh, six, months, six months old. But, you know, I've lived with it all my life, so it's not done dumping out to cars. It doesn't, doesn't affect me, so, you know, just, just there, really. Well, it's not there. <laughs> 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 Listening to him gives him extra agility because it's just that, that, that less weight down on his toe. It just gives him that extra step. I think he'll notice. He's, he's a ring movement is very good. I think you'll see that come come judgment day. Thank you, Thunder Lips. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, yes, sir. Matty, what's uh, what's Kershaw like to train and how's life at the gas club? Uh, yeah, first of all, I'd like you all to put a big, big hand to Ben Kershaw, my trainer. All right! Come on! In my eyes, best trainer around, you know. He's, 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 he's in my head every single day, giving me diet plans, telling me to do this, telling me to do that. Don't give me a minute off. That's what I want. This is what I need. I need Ben to, for me to be Chuck, and that's what's going to happen. Same question to Chuck. How's Fergus like in the trainer? I see Fergus as a father figure in all honesty. <laughs> Takes me under his wing, shows me what to do. We've got the diets done, haven't we? Diet sorted. What's smoking? Every every training regime. Smoking diet. <laughs> Smoking in your diet. My good diet. My little sleep. How, how good's that diet? Smoking. Thank you. Smoking, Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. I'll give you a chance to get in. Diet. Let me, let me talk. Diet. Good diet. Thank you. <laughs> Can I just add that um, we've got a lot of respect for Fergus as a trainer. He's a good trainer. We we have a lot of talks about. We know we share the same training principles, and he's just a he's a good bloke. I've just got I've got to share a lot of respect for Fergus. <coughs> a lot of time. transportation vehicle and I think you know what he's a good lad and he could do bits of my but he's not going to do enough. Thank you for the question. Oh. Uh, yes you sir. This question's for you both. How, what are your feelings on each other? Yeah Matthew if you'd like to. It's like not you? it's not a bad feeling it's just two lads that want to put a pair of gloves on and then actually have a fight after that shake hands and mates again. Simple as that. It's not no hard feelings after a fight. Two 17 year old lads wanting to fight. I totally agree, it's just uh, another knockout for my career, so just get it over with and move on. Thank you. Uh, yes, sir. <coughs> to both of you, what would the £30 winning fee do for you? Well, 
great pal when you grew up. Must laugh into this guy. Say no more. That's just. I can throw that away. It's just. He's not bothered about the money. He's there to put on a good show for fans and he's there to show her what he's about. And what he's about is winning the fights, knocking out. That's all he's going to do. Personally, the, the £30 just means I can buy a bottle of champagne for the lads when we whitewash gas club. <coughs> I'm, not, I'm not called gas club. <laughs> <laughs> right. They have no identity. <laughs> we all thought they were it's called the gas club. Fight club. <laughs> <laughs> for diet plans and training plans, call me on 07 081575820. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, yes, Matty, does Josh's weight advantage worry you in the slightest bit? No, no, Josh's weight advantage doesn't worry me at all, you know. A lad is 6 foot 3 that weighs 2 or 3 kilograms more than me. Well, it's embarrassing, you know. You know, we can get on with it. I stack more power than you. Know. It's about it, it's weight. It's not a problem. Thank you, uh, yes, sir. Do you both think it's going to go on all 12 rounds? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think the fight will go all 12 rounds, to be honest, but I think, I think I'll knock him out in the last round, I think he's 250, and basically I'm ready for it. I don't, I don't know, personally, if it will last 12 rounds, it depends if he does back up his word and come to fight, we'll have to see on fight night. Thank you. Have we any more questions for the contenders? No, thank you. And now if the contenders would like to stand up for the face-off.